Christina from The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and help others to do the same. I also love to paint furniture. And I have two favorite paint brands. And a lot of people have questions. So today we're gonna talk about them. My two favorite paint brands are DIY Paint and Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. And today I'm here to tell you when you should use which and what are the differences between DIY Paint and Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. DIY Furniture Paint is clay-based, all-natural paint. And if you are new to painting furniture, it would be what I would recommend you start with. It is pretty much the easiest to use. It comes pre-mixed and you get amazing results. I do have a lot of videos here on YouTube about how to use DIY paint. If you wanna get started with DIY paint, click on the link to the video right now. Besides DIY being clay-based, it's also all natural which means no VOCs and you can safely use it indoors around your pets and your family. I sometimes paint my furniture in my living room or my kitchen while my daughter is doing her homework. <laughs> the other great thing about DIY paint are the colors. I've used a lot of paint and no paint has the color selection of DIY paint. If you like neutrals, DIY paint has it. If you like bold colors, DIY paint has it. There's really something for everyone. The other thing that's great about DIY paint is it's water cleanup. I sometimes paint right on my wood floors without even using a drop cloth. I also don't have to worry if I get DIY paint on me or my clothes. It washes up with absolutely no problem. So you don't even need like those old paint clothes much anymore. DIY paint is also easy to use on any surface. Not only will it paint wood, but it'll paint metal and it'll paint glass and it'll even paint upholstery. Another use for DIY paint is to use it for art. There are so many amazing ladies of DIY paint that are making beautiful art with DIY paint and all of the colors. Another thing that's really special about DIY paint is it is non-leveling. What that means is you can build up amazing texture. You can make the piece look like it's got years of crusty, old, luscious colors and layers. Most paints will self-level and you can't achieve that finish. Another thing that DIY paint can do that no other paint can do is blending. If you like to blend colors, if you like lots of colors, DIY paint is the paint for you. If you need more help on blending, please check out the link for the video popping up now. I really struggled in the beginning with blending, but I just didn't have the right tools and the right technique. With a spray bottle and the right brush and a little DIY paint, blending is so simple and you can get an amazing finish. The other great thing about DIY paint is because it is so heavily pigmented, you can water down the paint and use it to stain wood. You can also use it for watercolors, so there's lots of applications. You can now get an all natural wood stain in any color that you want. DIY Paint now has Salvation Solution, which is one of its products in its line, which will prevent bleed through. Even if you start to paint a piece and you have some bleed through poking through, you can just put a little Salvation Solution on it and continue painting. For more information on bleed through, click on the link to the video above. Other thing that's great about DIY Paint are the liquid patinas. Two liquid patinas, dark and decrepit, and old and gray barnwood patina. I like to use both of these as amazing water-based stains. They are all natural. You don't have to worry about fumes. You don't have to worry about all of the dry time. So if you hate staining furniture, you need to check out liquid patina. If you need 
help with learning how to stain with one of the DIY liquid patinas, check out this video above. You might just enjoy staining furniture a little bit more now. Another one of the liquid patinas that DIY Paint offers are two metallic patinas. These are great that you can use to add a little shine and glitter. One is called Pennies from Heaven, which is a copper patina, and the other is called Golden Ticket. You can blend these into your painted projects or you can completely use them alone. I really like to use both of them to sparkle up a little bit of my dingy hardware and to give my piece a little extra sparkle and shine. One of my favorite products from DIY Paint is the Top Coat. DIY Big Top is non-yellowing. It also provides a really protective top coat. It dries in about 20 minutes. You can just brush it right on and then apply your second coat when it sits dry. Usually for most applications, you only need two to three coats. The waxes that DIY Paint offers are like no other wax. They're all natural, they're luscious and creamy. They are not hard to use. They are simple, they apply quickly, and they soak in all the luscious goodness into your piece of furniture and give you a great end result. For more help on how to use all of the DIY top coats and waxes, click on the video right now. We've talked DIY paint. And hopefully, if you're new to painting and you've never tried out paint, you're ready to try DIY paint. I think you will be really surprised and I'm pretty certain you're going to fall in love with it. My other favorite paint of all is milk paint, but I have to warn you. Milk paint is kind of what I recommend as the next challenge once you've kind of dipped your toes in the furniture painting pool. Milk paint is wonderful. It has amazing results. It is also all natural, which means no VOCs, no fumes. You can use it indoors and you don't have to worry. But I will tell you, Sweet Pickens milk paint can be a little bit temperamental. It's really important that you follow the directions and you put in a little extra effort in preparation and in the beginning of painting your piece. Sweet Pickens milk paint comes in a powdered form and you will need to mix it in order to paint. The easy part is, is it's a 50-50 mix. If you'd like more information on how to mix your Sweet Pickens milk paint to get the best results, check out my video where I give you all of the details. It's really important to follow the directions so that your milk paint turns out exactly the way you want. So there is a little extra effort needed with mixing your milk paint. And it's really important when you mix your milk paint that you only mix up what you need. So what I recommend you do is you start small. Mix up a small amount in the beginning and then if you need more you can always mix up more. If you have leftover paint it's important you find another project to use it for or you can refrigerate it in an airtight container for up to five days. Milk paint is also safe to use indoors but I will tell you based on my experiences with milk paint you do need to wear your paint clothes when you're working with it. Milk paint if it gets on your clothes does seem to set in a little quicker than DIY paint and it's harder to get out. If you get to the stain right away you'll probably be able to get it out but it's a really good idea to have a separate set of paint clothes when you're working with milk paint. I also always use a drop cloth when I'm working with milk paint indoors. Milk paint is a little bit thinner than DIY paint and also can be a little drippy. Sweet Pickens milk paint also has amazing colors. You know I love color. I wouldn't pick a brand of paint unless there was a huge selection and Sweet Pickens milk paint has it. It doesn't just have those boring neutral colors. It has a wide range of vibrant, beautiful colors that you can use for any of your pieces. Also, Sweet Pickens Milk Paint can adhere to most wood surfaces with no problem. But keep in mind, there are a few rules when you're using milk paint on surfaces. Milk paint works best on raw wood or on wood that's really dried out and does not have much top coat left remaining. If your piece of wood is still really shiny and has a previous finish on it, you want to make sure that you're adding extra bond to your piece or if you apply milk paint all by itself, 
it could completely chip off. Remember, milk paint's a little bit more high maintenance, but if you follow the steps, I promise, it will be worth it in the end result because the best part about milk paint is the amazing chippy old world finish that you can achieve. It looks like something that's been pulled out of a barn and you get it naturally. Milk paint also is self-leveling. So that means you're gonna get a smooth finish with milk paint. Milk paint provides the smoothest finish of any other paint. Sweet Pickens Milk Paint also has some great other products that I have to tell you about. One of my favorites is their top coat. Sweet Pickens Top Coat is a matte top coat. You can use this on DIY paint also, or you can use DIY Big Top on your Sweet Pickens. It's just a matter of preference. Remember, DIY Big Top is going to have more of a satin shinier finish, and Sweet Pickens Top Coat will have a real matte finish. Both top coats are all natural, really easy to use, they're water-based, you wash them out quickly, the drying time is amazing, and they provide a clear, heavy-duty protection that is non-yellowing. Another one of my favorite products from Sweet Pickens is their hemp oil. And I really can't talk about it enough because I think so many people don't even know what the heck hemp oil is. Hemp oil is a great restorative oil. You can use it as a top coat, not only on Sweet Pickens Milk Paint, but also on DIY paint, and it will restore the wood underneath too. So if you have a distressed or a chippy finish, when you apply your hemp oil, you are going to revive the wood underneath and just make it look amazing. Hemp oil is also all natural, and it can be used also straight on old wood that just needs a little extra life breathed into it. Hemp oil is super simple to apply. You just brush it on, let it set for five to 25 minutes and wipe it off. That is it. Now I will tell you, hemp oil will slightly darken the DIY paint and the milk paint a little bit more than most top coats. So you wanna be prepared for that. But hemp oil is also food safe. So if you have a cutting board, you can use hemp oil as a sealer and not have to worry about it at all. The best part about using milk paint is you're not gonna be always in control of your piece when you're painting with milk paint. And sometimes that's a good thing. I think when you're painting furniture, sometimes, speaking about myself, we are control freaks. We know exactly how we want it to look. And a lot of times that prevents creativity. I will say my best pieces of furniture turned out the best because everything that could possibly go wrong did. And because I battled with it and had to change my plans, usually I ended up with a piece that turned out even better than I thought it would because it did some things that I never expected. When you're being creative, it's really important to open yourself up to new experiences and new ideas. And milk paint will allow that. It'll help you get out of your comfort zone just a little bit. And trust me, the final product of a Sweet Pickens milk paint piece is totally worth it. You cannot get a finish like you can get in milk paint anywhere else. If you are interested in purchasing Sweet Pickens Milk Paint or DIY Paint, you can shop my online store at shoptheturnedleg.com or if you're local, you can shop my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. It helps me to continue to make more videos to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. I hope that you'll try both paints if you haven't already, and I hope that now you'll have some wonderful results. If you need more help on using any of the paints that I talked about here today, please check out my videos. I do have playlists here on YouTube to help you with tons of applications. If there's something you think that I'm missing and you still have questions about, please put it in the comments below and I'll try to make a video to help you. Thanks so much for watching.